Welcome to the WebSense Grooves 5-Minute Quick Start. WebSense Grooves is a free drum machine and sample library that works in your web browser. Just go to websense.com slash grooves. With WebSense Grooves, you can make beats for most genres of music. You can create eight different patterns and organize those patterns into songs. You can download your beats file to continue working on another day. You can export your grooves as WAV format audio files that you can share with the world. You can also import those WAV files into the DAW of your choice. WebSense Grooves has advanced features like audio effects and LFO modulations. It even has functions for polyrhythms, polymeters, and generative music. I recommend using the latest version of Chrome on a desktop or laptop computer, but it probably works fine in other browsers and mobile devices. I'm just not currently testing or optimizing it for anything other than Chrome. If you want to hear what it is capable of, just click on this drop down, select any preset groove, and hit play. Okay, so that is what WebSense Grooves is. Now let's talk about the architecture. There are 16 pads on the left. Each pad holds a sample, which just means a small audio recording. If you click on any of the pads, you will hear the sample, and on the right, you will see the parameters associated with that pad. Tip. Instead of using your mouse, you can use your keyboard to trigger the sample pads. Or, if you have one, you can trigger the pads with a USB MIDI device. Over here on the right, if you click on the big drop-down, you can select a new sample for that pad by first clicking on a sample set and then on any of the numbered samples below. Close back up the sample selection drop-down and you'll notice the row of numbered buttons. This is where you program the sequence of triggers for the selected sample. Now let's play the pattern so we can see how those triggers work. You can click the play button or you can tap your spacebar. Let's turn on some more triggers and turn some off. The kick drum in this pattern is using 32 steps or two measures of 4-4. Four, four. Let's change that to one measure or 16 steps. Now let's try a different kick sample. As you can hear, you can try different samples while the pattern is playing. Let's close the sample selection window. By the way, I'm not going to explain how every parameter works. This is just a quick start video. Now let's talk about the mixer. Each of the 16 samples can be sent to any of the six buses in the mixer. You do that in this output section by selecting a bus and deciding how much volume to send to that bus. In this example, the kick drum is sending its audio to bus 1, while the snare is sending to bus 2. Each sample can be sent to any number of buses, you aren't limited to just one. The green light lets you know which buses are being sent audio from the selected sample. Once the audio gets into the mixer, you can adjust the volume of the buses and mute or solo them. The mixer is also where you add audio effects like delays or reverbs. There are eight patterns, each of which contains a whole different set of parameters for each of the pads. You can change the pattern by clicking on it or using your QWERTY keys Y through forward slash. This drop-down is for copying the patterns from one to another or clearing them out. Patterns can be organized into songs in song mode. So let's add a second pattern and then loop them back and forth. This slider is where you change the tempo of your pattern. Important to note, each pattern can have a different tempo. Okay, let's cover one more thing in this quick start. How to sequence pitches. Let's start with a blank canvas, load in a synth bass, set some triggers on, hit the space bar to listen to the pattern. Now you see the orange marker below the trigger? As I click it, notice the orange numbers down here labeled sequence change to match it. Let's change the pitch scale to chromatic, which just means the regular 12-tone system, so we can set the number of half steps up or down for each trigger in the sequence. And this way we can create a melody. Hopefully that is enough explanation to get you started. Thanks for watching. Please leave your questions in the comment section below. If this video helped you, please give it a like.
And if you want to see more of these, subscribe to the channel. Thanks again.